Join me on the 30 day sugar detox challenge watch what happens when I cut out sugar completely for a month. In this video, I'm embarking on one of the biggest health challenges I've ever faced. A 30 day sugar detox. That's right no sugar at all for an entire month. Sugar is everywhere and it's something most of us consume without even realizing how much of it we're taking in. It's in our morning coffee, afternoon snacks, and even hidden in savory dishes. I wanted to test whether cutting out sugar completely would transform my health, energy levels, skin, and even my mind. What happens when you go cold turkey on one of the most addictive substances out there? Join me on this 30-day journey as I reveal the struggles, benefits, and surprising changes I experienced and see whether quitting sugar is worth the challenge. The allure of sugar. Why we can't get enough? Let's be honest, sugar is everywhere, and it's almost impossible to avoid in today's world. It's in everything from candy and desserts to unexpected places like sauces, bread, salad dressings, and even so-called healthy snacks. It gives us a quick boost of energy and makes food taste better, but too much of it can have serious consequences for our health. What makes sugar so hard to resist is that its highly addictive research has shown that sugar triggers the same reward centers in the brain as addictive substances like drugs or alcohol. This means the more we consume, the more we crave. But here's the catch. While sugar provides a momentary rush, it often leaves us feeling crashed, sluggish, and craving even more. Over time, excessive sugar consumption contributes to weight gain, energy crashes, and skin issues, and even increases the risk of chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and metabolic syndrome. So, what would happen if I decided to eliminate sugar from my diet for 30 days? Why I decided to quit sugar for a long time? I had noticed that my energy levels were all over the place I'd feel wired and energized after eating something sweet, but soon after, I'd crash and feel exhausted. I was tired of that constant cycle of ups and downs, and I wanted to see if cutting out sugar would stabilize my energy and help me feel better throughout the day. I'd also heard about the other potential benefits of quitting sugar clearer skin, better digestion, improved sleep, and even mental clarity. I had read stories of people who had done a sugar detox and said they felt like a whole new person by the end of it. So, I thought, why not give it a shot? The 30-day sugar detox challenge wasn't just about seeing how my body would react to cutting out sugar. It was about breaking free from the cravings and reliance on sugary foods that had been controlling my diet. The rules, 30 days without sugar, for this challenge, I set some strict rules. I wasn't just cutting out obvious sources of sugar like cakes, cookies, and soda. I was going all in and cutting out all added sugars, even the ones hidden in everyday foods. That meant no sugary drinks, no sauces with added sugars, no prepackaged foods with hidden sweeteners, and no cheat days. I also decided to avoid asterisk asterisk artificial sweeteners asterisk asterisk, which might technically be sugar-free, but still trigger the same cravings. I had to become a label detective, scanning ingredients on everything I bought to ensure there was no sneaky sugar hiding in places I didn't expect. It was a huge wake-up call to see just how many foods foods I considered healthy were loaded with hidden sugars. The early days, sugar withdrawal and cravings, let's just say, the first few days were rough. I knew giving up sugar wouldn't be easy, but I didn't anticipate just how hard my body would fight back within the first two days. I experienced full-blown sugar withdrawal symptoms something I had heard about, but didn't think would hit me this hard. I had intense headaches, felt irritable, and had zero energy. It felt like my body was in shock from the sudden lack of sugar it had grown so accustomed to. To make matters worse, I was having major cravings. Everywhere I looked, there seemed to be reminders of sugary treat ads on TV, bakery smells wafting down the street, or even seeing someone drink a soda. It was like I was hyper aware of every sweet thing I couldn't have. The cravings were intense and my mood swings were even worse. I was irritable and frustrated and frankly, I wanted to quit. But I kept reminding myself why I was doing this. I knew that pushing through the hard part was necessary to get to the other side of the detox. I stayed committed, telling myself that things would get better and they did. How I stayed on track, the power of planning. To get through this challenge, planning was everything. There's no way I would have been able to resist temptation if I hadn't prepared. I knew I had to be strategic about my meals and have healthy alternatives on hand. For when those cravings hit, I created a sugar-free meal plan, 
focusing on whole, unprocessed foods like vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats. I also got creative with recipes. I found that there were so many delicious ways to satisfy my cravings for something sweet without using added sugars. I tried making sugar-free energy bites with nuts and dates, used cinnamon and vanilla for flavor in my oatmeal, and found that fresh fruit could be just as satisfying as sugary snacks. Once my taste buds adjusted, staying hydrated was another key strategy. Sometimes, what I thought was a sugar craving was just thirst. Drinking lots of water helped curb those cravings. And I also started drinking herbal teas when I needed something flavorful. Without reaching for sugar, the turning point. When the benefits kicked in, after about a week, something incredible happened the cravings started to fade. I no longer felt like I was constantly fighting the urge to eat something sweet and my body began to adjust to life without sugar. That's when I started to experience the real benefits of the sugar detox. The first thing I noticed was my energy levels. Without the constant sugar spikes and crashes, my energy was more stable throughout the day. I no longer felt that intense need for a sugary pick-me-up in the afternoon, and I found it easier to stay focused and productive. I had steady energy from morning to night, which was a game-changer for my daily routine. Then, there was my skin. I had always dealt with occasional breakouts, but by the second week of the detox, my skin was noticeably clearer. The redness and inflammation I've been struggling with for months started to subside, and my complexion became brighter and more even. It was one of the most visible changes, and it felt great to see those results so quickly. The biggest surprise, mental clarity and emotional balance. The most surprising benefit of the sugar detox, however, was the impact it had on my mental clarity and emotions. I wasn't expecting cutting out sugar to affect my mind, but it did dramatically. The brain fog I didn't even realize I had lifted, and I felt sharper and more focused. Tasks that used to take me forever now felt easy to complete, and I could think more clearly throughout the day. But it wasn't just mental clarity, it was also emotional stability. Without the constant sugar crashes, I noticed I wasn't as irritable or moody. I felt calmer, more balanced, and more in control of my emotions. It was like a fog had lifted and I could handle stress and challenges with a clearer, more positive mindset. The more stable blood sugar levels seemed to have a profound effect on my mood. And that was something I didn't anticipate going into this challenge. End of the challenge. What changed after 30 days? At the end of the 30 days, I was blown away by how much had changed. Not only did I feel more energized, but I also felt like a completely different person mentally, physically, and emotionally. My skin was clearer, my digestion had improved, and I no longer experienced those midday crashes that had been a normal part of my life for so long. But the best part, even after the detox was over, I didn't feel the same intense cravings for sugar that I had before. Sure, I still enjoyed the occasional sweet treat, but I no longer relied on sugar to get through the day. I had broken the cycle, and I felt more in control of my choices. Key takeaways, is a 30-day sugar detox worth it? So, is quitting sugar for 30 days worth it? Absolutely. The first few days were hard no question about it, but the benefits I experienced made it all worthwhile. From increased energy and clearer skin to improved mental clarity and emotional stability. I saw firsthand how much cutting out sugar can transform your health. If you've been thinking about trying a sugar detox, I encourage you to go for it. It won't be easy at first, but the results are worth the effort. You'll feel more in control of your health and the positive changes will stick with you long after the detox is over so don't forget to like and subscribe for more health tips.